Okay, so what is the play called and what's it about? It's called Zoom In and the Sign, written by Charles Fuller. And it is about the story of a family in Philadelphia whose daughter is killed on their front steps. And she's 12 years old. And it, it follows, it chronicles uh, her murderer and his story about his pain and his strife and his guilt and his story and everything that, that makes up who he is. And um, in the meantime, the family of the child who got killed, they come to find out that all the neighbors, they witnessed the murder and they do not want to stand up. They don't, they refuse to come forward and say that they saw anything. So then um, the family takes that, they go on after their revenge, not their revenge, but they, the father goes to seek justice to um, get justice for his slain daughter that nobody's standing up for. Okay, so uh, why this play? Why do this play now, at this present time, at our Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. 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 Um, Violence is, is it's still, it was written back in the 70s, and 30 some odd years later, I mean, even before that, but the play was written in the 70s, so 30 some odd years later, we still are suffering from the same issues. Um, just last week, Darion Albert in Chicago, yeah. prime example, Zoom in, Zoom, in, Zoom in characters still exist in societies across America. Um, and it's it's a relevant play, and the people, it's time for people to start recognizing themselves and realizing that it's time for people to start standing up for their communities, um, to speak out and to hold people accountable for the safety and the well-being of their neighbors and the people they live around and work with and go to school with and etc. Yeah. It's definitely an eye opener because like you sit there and if you're an audience member you're sitting there like dad this could be me this could be my life so you get to see both sides and uh, so so is it a ser like is it overall a serious play? Are there funny moments in the play? <laughs> it has like its peaks and valleys. Like it is a serious play, but like each character goes on their own roller coaster. You know what I mean? And so it does evaluate like the different laughing moments and the family elements and like and then it'll drastically change to something serious and it'll go back and forth and dive into memories and things of that nature. So I think it is well-rounded in that aspect. It's not just, oh my God, this is an extremely serious play. What can I do with myself, you know what I mean? I think, uh, I think the show's very human. I think when people are going through mourning and people are going or dealing with a loss, they do have their ups and downs, their moments when they remember things that make them laugh and make them want to tell stories or make them cry. It's not just, oh, I'm so angry all the time. It's, it's back and forth. And the show really captures that whole journey, not just one emotional aspect of it. Okay, so um, could each of you... My name is Quentin Warren. I'm from Muskegon, Michigan. Uh, I'm a senior acting major here at Howard. I play Emmett Tate, um, who is the father's uncle. Um, as an actor, I aspire to be the best artist I can be. And what I mean by that is to stay true to what my beliefs and morals are and fuse that into my work. I don't want to just be doing things for the money. I mean, yes, the money is great because we got to eat, we got to live now, but um, I want to be the kind of artist that people respect and they can connect with on a, a deeper level. Um, yeah, and I, I'll leave it at that because we have all these great people behind me. Sure, we want straight yeah, sure. All right. Um, I'm Jaleesa Capri, and I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm a senior acting major at Howard. And um, I play the character Rachel Tate, which is the mother of the, uh, the child who died, Jenny. Um, and as an artist, uh, I aspire to be an artist who not only makes a difference on the stage by telling stories that people can relate to and that can bring about change in their environment, but to also do that uh, in other aspects and um, off the stage. And um, be the best artist I can be in film and television and make a difference through that and see what goes from there. I'm Brandon Ashley. I'm a sophomore musical theater major from Savannah, Georgia. And I play Ash Boswell, um, Rachel's cousin, <laughs> cousin in the show. Um, as an actor, I want to be able to do things for people. I want to be able to help people. I want to be able to show the stories and show the struggles and be the voice of people when they don't 
think they can do it themselves? Uh, my name is Adarius Smith, a uh, sophomore acting major from Orange County, California. Um, I play Russell, uh, the best friend of Victor, the son, and the family. And as an actor, essentially, I just want to entertain. Life is tough, and if I could be a medium to provide someone an escape in their life, just to come and get away for a few hours and, you know, watch a show or come see a show, then I've done my job as an actor. My name is Khalil X. Daniel. I am a junior acting major from Teaneck, New Jersey. Um, as an actor, I just aspire to be, as an artist, what I really want to do, my goal is just to bring people together. I think we have a whole world full of people, and we all, you know, sometimes we miscommunicate with one another, and I feel like all miscommunication is, all confrontation is just miscommunication, and I feel like within acting, Play so many different roles in artistry. There's so many different places where you can reach so many different people to bring them all together. So you can just develop some kind of an understanding. You know, let people know that no one person is an island. That's my goal. Right. Uh, my name is Matthew Farrell, sophomore acting major from Brooklyn, New York. Um, my goal is to be the best actor in, in every every different type of kind of acting, whatever kind of acting you think, old, contemporary, heightened, everything. And, also to uh, explore different different styles, different things, directing, writing, and just to make a difference and make a different lane for people to travel to get uh, their dreams across. Who are you playing, son? Oh, Victor. <laughs> Victor Tate, the son. Uh, my name is Josh Nelson. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, I play the illustrious Zoo Man. Um, Zoo Man. Zoom in, I guess you could kind of say, is a very lost, deranged young male who didn't necessarily have the proper upbringing. Therefore, it's caused him to find his manhood and his home within the wrong places, um, causing him to not really be as caring for anyone. Be be square. square. Zoom man in the like side. If you're not there, then you're missing out. If, if you're you sitting at home, or you want to go to the club, as opposed to you want to shake your room, then you're missing out. You don't see Zoom in the side. Oh my. <laughs> Come see. Don't get me stopped. Oh, and you can bring hold me back a little bit. Hold me back. <laughs> Oh, relax, brother, please. Brothers, you can bring a sister, sister, and, bring a brother. And as you can see, we're all one big family here in this cast. <laughs> so on the downtown, we, we entertain ourselves. <laughs> all the Thank you, uh, everyone. Please come by. You're really enjoying yourself.